This is uh, Sightmark's 3x42 Eclipse. Hopefully I've got the focus about right. It's a little hard to uh, adjust out, but I think it's I think it's pretty close. Um, again, you can tell from the field of view from the one I just took off, which was the two, that there is a, a smaller field of view, but it potentially at the far end is a little bit tighter. And as we swing around into the surrounding woods, um, again, uh, good alumin good good light. And now I'm going to turn on the built-in illuminator that is on the product. Um, so if you were raccoon hunting or had something in the woods, you would definitely not have any problem seeing it. Uh, and then as you get back out in the open field, it's it's not as useful. Hand to the left as well. Actually, go. I've I've got it focused. The nice thing about these is they have an adjustable focus on them, and I've got it focused more for the distance. So when I'm up close, it's 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 blurry. Hopefully, it's still in pretty sharp focus looking down through there. Um, again, if you were hunting with it. You would introduce the laser once again, and that would once again be your uh, aiming point, uh, 37, 74, 100 and something yards on down. And people often ask how far it can see. I don't know how far that laser is. It's down easily probably 150 yards or more. The question comes down to more how far can you see behind it. It's not that you can't see it, it's what's behind it, uh, a cow or a deer or something, a house. So this is the 3 by 42 The first video I showed of the 3 by 42 was without the 3X extender on it. So it has, I need to get the figure out what it is, but it has a usable feature and then you of the first image I showed was of the 3x42 without the 3x extender on it and this is with the extender on that slips in I think I've got it focused I've got a bad astigmatism in my right eye but it seems to be fairly sharp you can see how much tighter it's getting down range again hopefully if we come close it's still pretty sharp I would need to adjust it again being this close uh, and then as we get over into the trees where it's dark because we have more magnification the more power you have the darker it gets because of the loss of light but again you turn on its built-in illuminator and once again you've got very good crisp detail um, as we pan back across and then we'll pan back to the left also So, uh, very good, sharp uh, image. Uh, and once again, you would. Introduce your, your laser into it. And there it is. Um, let's see which telephone pole that is. That's the second. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So 180, maybe 200 yards. Um, and there's some traffic way down at the end of this road. But you can see, and I must say that road that you're seeing the lights on is probably well over a half mile away. Um, probably closer to three quarters of a mile, but those are headlights of vehicles. Um, but there again, there's, I have no idea how far that yardage is, but this is the three. This is the Sightmark 4x50, and I'm not sure I've got it focused exactly.